welcome back visions fans ready player will here today we're going with another classroom session of a topic that i just learned about a year after the game has been out more than that a year and a half that i always kind of like had an idea about it turns out i was flat out wrong it's basically what is debuff resistance and how does it work in the game how is it displayed textually how it gets explained in game and on wtv calc i had it wrong and i'm mind blown that i did so i thought it was time to bring some awareness because it's a stat that probably gets misunderstood and misconstrued by most of the community as well if only because it's also not a very popular thing to like look for in a character and to build for so jumping into it just some confusion with the in-game lingo and, and this is also from wtv calculus to the clairvoyant astrologer and to someone who's looking at this and doesn't know all the stats intricately and hasn't done the testing to really like see some of the cause and effect it can be difficult because some of this is an increase of the stat by the percentage so increase attack by 50 percent even then it's the attack on the uh, increase on the base attack stat not the total attack so like even some asterisks there increase of a gain of something by a percentage so like increased acquired ap so every time you do an attack you get 35 percent more ap uh it could be an increase in the percentage of a resistance type so 20 percent increase in magic resistance it can also be a percentage added to a modifier of attack so if an attack normally does 165 percent damage and you get increased appearance attack of 10 so that's 10 percent to the modifier all you know looks really similar num numerically and the one that i always thought deep off resistance was like was percentage of a resist ignored so like defense penetration here essentially this is a total of uh do the math uh this is 20 defense penetration where it ignores 20 percent of the defense stats so if someone had 50 defense take off 20 percent of that when the attack hits it's as if they only had 40 defense and i thought debuff resist was somewhat similar so what i thought it was and we're gonna look at quelling chaos here it's warrior of lights passive it's increased defense or spear debuff resistance 50 percent for self and i always what i thought that meant was that it decreased the percentage of the debuff kind of like how defense resist penetration works or any resist penetration works where it effectively takes off a percentage of the effect itself so for an example sid's armor crusher is a really easy one this attack decreases defense by 25 for three turns what i thought it was instead of decreasing it by 25 it would ignore 50 percent of the break and it would only decrease it 12 and a half it either rounds up or down in the game but that's basically what i thought it meant <laughs> wrong that's not what it means at all debuff resistance is actually a chance to proc something and i'll explain that in a second here it's a little percent chance of ignoring the break so quelling chaos has a 50 percent chance of ignoring of ignoring the defense break altogether that's what that means so it either happens or it doesn't happen and we're going to see it in action so this is an instance where you're going to see it proc so i have sit here warrior of light so you can see Warrior of Light starts off here with 31 defense. And then when Sid goes to attack him, he's going to use Armor Crush, or Crush Armor. And when he does so, you're going to see this defense down, which means the break worked. And then if we go back into Warrior Light stats and now look at what his defense stat is, you can see his defense is now six. So the entire break took effect. If we look at it where it does not proc, same exact scenario, I replayed the battle, you know, hoped it would proc, so we're starting off with 31 defense again. We're gonna let Warrior of Light take this Crush Armor attack. Let's skip ahead. And you're gonna notice this time, there is no text that says defense break at all. It's just the damage amount, because it did not actually take effect because of the passive. And if we go into Warrior Light, you can see he has retained his 31 defense. So all in all, I thought that was really interesting because I had never seen that explained really well. It's not highlighted in a lot of stuff. It's not clear in a lot of the text and lingo. So I, all of a sudden in my head, I'm like, wait a minute, like where is this other in the game? And there's a couple places. This obviously is in all of them. But one of the first ones that came to mind was Echoing Screams. This is a vision card that was out from like the first week of the game. And by and large, not popular at all. I've never seen it used competitively. But it's an increased attack debuff resistance 25%. What I used to think that meant was your attack break would be reduced by 25%. It means that whoever has this has a 25% chance of not getting their attack broken every single time it hits. So that's interesting. Another one, and this is actually like a nerf to the card in my opinion. The the Montleonis, uh King of Lions card is a defense debuff resistance of 20% to fire units for the party. Yeah. 
And what I used to think was it would reduce the defense break by 20%. I thought that was pretty strong. Well, it turns out it's really only a one in five chance that you ignore defense break, which to be honest, I don't think is actually that powerful. Uh, I know defense breaks are, are in the game fairly frequently, but the odds of getting hit enough times at 20% actually becomes material, like not as strong as I thought it was. It, it's obviously good for what it is, but uh, you know, not certainly not Warrior Vice 50% chance. That's a completely different uh, probability. Uh, something like Ayaka, now a lot of people have green mage sub jobs, so this is just exclusive to her. But this uh, increased debuff resistance of 12%, that means that every time there's a debuff that comes out, she can ignore it, a 12% chance to ignore it. So that means slash resistance down, that means SPR or spirit down, that means an element down, like dark attack down. Really, really interesting that that's a pretty important thing where all debuffs, 12% chance to not land. Obviously it's small, but like that could certainly come in clutch. And then another one is Luelle, and, and obviously this didn't, for my definition, my thought of this ability didn't change, but she's got defense debuff resistance of 100, which means there was a 100% chance that you cannot break her defense. Uh, now, in my old theory, ignoring 100% of the break is still effectively the same thing, but that's this is now different context. So uh, either way, I thought that was super interesting. Wanted to bring some attention to it. I don't. I, I know most people in my guild didn't really know this uh, by and large, so I didn't think the community might know as well. And hopefully, learn something new, and uh, maybe you can apply it in your in-game strats and whatnot, and see if you can hedge against certain breaks in ways that you didn't know you could. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.